In 2008, a 100 goal season for Brenner Favola and Lance Buddy Franklin was on the cards, culminating in a head to head matchup in the final round of the year, where Franklin's Hawks met Favola's Blues in round 22, with both players in reach of the magical ton. I'm Modal Soul Media, and this is the race to 100 goals. In the mid 2000s, the power forward was still a massive factor, with the likes of Gehrig, Treadray, Lloyd, Hall, Favola and Franklin, just to name a few, kicking massive bags and knocking up high end of season tallies. A tradition in the AFL, if a player kicks 100 goals in a year, the crowd will swarm the field. One of the great spectacles we have in our game, and before 2008, two players had already kicked 100 goals plus in a year, including finals. Matthew Lloyd, both in 2000 and 2001, kicked over 100 goals, with the milestone goal occurring in the final series of both years. Again in 2004, Fraser Garrett kicked his 100th goal in the preliminary final for St Kilda. So it was actually as far back as 1998 where a player was actually able to kick 100 goals in the home and away season, with that being Tony Lockett. Come 2008, two players are on track to hit 100 in a season. And all season long, their teams are scheduled to meet in the final round, perhaps the shootout of the century. Lance Franklin, only in his fourth year, had already established himself as an incredible forward for the Hawks. With his heroics in 2007 mentioned in one of my previous videos, Franklin had yet to win a Coleman medal, finishing 2007 on 73 goals. Four behind that year's winner, Jonathan Brown. Although, Franklin nearly doubled the amount of behinds that Brown had kicked that year, meaning that if he kicked straight, he could definitely manage 100 goals in a season. Throughout 2008, Franklin had scored in every match, with a notable 9-goal performance against the Bombers and 3 8-goal hauls. And with one round to go in 2008, Franklin was on 98 goals. Brendan Favola was playing his 10th season in 2008 and was already established as a prominent power forward capable of kicking massive bags for Carlton. Favola had already won Carlton's goal kicking five times and had a common medal in the bag for his 84 goal season in 2006. Fev's 2008 season saw him kick eight goals twice and kick seven goals four times. Only twice that year did Favola not kick multiple goals in a match. His accuracy, however, was an issue, with Favola kicking 8 goals 6 in his round 12 matchup against Collingwood. This set Favola back a little, and heading into round 22, Favola was on 92 goals, 8 short of the 100, meaning Favola had to pull out his equal most goals ever just to hit the milestone. Carlton had sent young defender Paul Bauer to Franklin, a massive task for the young fella who hadn't even played a season's worth of matches, whereas Hawthorne sent veteran defender Trent Crow to stop Favola from having a day out. As Hawthorne coach Alastair Clarkson said, this was Buddy's night and they were going to make sure that Favola did not also kick 100 goals. Clearly, Alistair Clarkson was not interested in carving out a piece of history for the two forwards. Carlton went to Favola time and time again early in the match, but Favola missed his opening few shots as the pressure built and the chances of kicking 8 goals diminished. After Fev had missed 3 of his shots early in the game, on Hawthorne's first attempt at hitting Franklin, he marks and goals, only one to go for Buddy. The Hawks then peel off the wing, with Rioli sending the ball to Franklin as he marks and lines up. This is the moment. Franklin is going for goal 100 early. And with a deadly straight kick, he gets his 100th goal and is the 28th player in the history of the league to do so. The crowd then runs out onto the field and swarms Franklin. Franklin is actually escorted from the field as security now has to deal with the thousands of fans on the field. The last time a player kicked 100 goals, only a handful of people ran out to congratulate Gehrig. Perhaps because he was playing in opposition territory, so the fans made sure this time they were going to run out. After a few moments, Franklin has got the milestone out of the way and he's back on the field. And now it's all about Favola. Will we see two players kick 100 goals in the very same match? Favola now has three quarters to kick eight goals. After Fev finds the ball and lines up late in the second quarter, he misses again. Favola has kicked zero goals and four behinds 
for the half. The task now looks almost impossible. The Hawks have a commanding lead and Carlton look like they need a spark. Early in the third quarter, Favola marks, lines up, and finally kicks goal number 93. After Franklin had kicked his 101st, Favola once again finds the ball and goals. And not long after, he again marks, lines up, and kicks goal 95. The Carlton Blues are pulling out their routine training heels, isolating Favola in their forward 50 as they hit him on the lead. Favola then kicks his fourth for the match and the quarter, now on 96. In the final quarter, it's all about getting Fev to 100. As Carlton aren't going to play finals, so there is no harm in helping the big man at least try and reach the milestone. The ball spills to Simpson, who easily could have goaled himself, but decides to handball off to Favola as he runs in for goal 97. Well played, Cade Simpson. Now, every time Carlton go inside 50, they look to give it to Favola at all costs. Watch as Murphy handballs backwards to Favola under pressure just for a chance at goal. However, he misses. Alastair Clarkson is on a mission to deny Fev, sending at one point three defenders his way. Despite the Hawks' unsportsmanlike efforts, Favola marks in front of two opposition players. He goes back and nails his seventh goal for number 98. Two to go with 10 minutes left in Carlton's season. Another Franklin goal, and he has the Coleman medal sewn up with 102 for the season. But with less than five minutes to go, the Blues are trying everything to get it to Fev, whilst the Hawks are trying their best to deny him the glory. As Fev's teammates handball back to him whilst he's being checked by two Hawk defenders, Fev is given a free kick in the goal square as he quickly sends it through from point blank. Favola now sits on 99 goals with eight for the match, all occurring in the second half. The crowd is ready to run onto the field, but who knows how long is actually left in the match. Every Hawthorne possession is met with boos. In perhaps one of the most toxic moments, Clarkson decides to flood the Hawks defense, even sending star forward Jared Roughhead to their back line to deny Favola his 100th goal. With only seconds remaining, the ball is sent to Favola, who despite playing on two defenders, somehow gives away a questionable free kick. And then the Hawks just waste time, rushing behinds and playing kick to kick. Chris Judd then sends the ball in looking for his man. Favola is up against four Hawthorne players and is thrown out of the contest, yet the umpire does not pay a free kick. Favola looks defeated. The siren sounds and Favola finishes the season with 99 goals with eight goals for. However, Franklin of course did hit the magical ton. So there was a piece of history carved out that night. After that season, neither player were able to kick 100 goals again with Favola retiring a few years after. Favola said that his early misses cost him the opportunity at getting 100 goals but also has been vocal in his frustration against the Hawks trying their best to deny him his glory. So that's it. We didn't get to see the double 100 and Franklin was the winner of the race to 100 goals. We also haven't seen a player kick 100 goals in a season since, and we will likely never see two players go for 100 goals in the same match. So what are your thoughts on this matchup? Will we ever see anything like it again? I've been Modal Soul Media, Thanks for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe.